Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. This is Connor from Futures Analytica bringing you guys another live futures trading session. We're going to start the day here after this huge run up, but which I unfortunately missed, which we would have, I think, done very well with all these positive imbalances there. We're actually just going to be switching it into regression mode. We're going to be doing that because of this huge move past here. As, and then we've gotten this very, very large um, delta divergence at 8.09. So we're going to try and take advantage of some chop that happened right after that move. I would not be surprised if we saw a little bit of a pullback, but um, for the time being, we're going to try and take advantage of consolidation at this level. Someone said the audio is very choppy. Not totally sure if that is true, but I will double check on that. Let me know if it's that's how it is. Also, guys, for emailing support, make sure you're emailing the support at futuresanalytica.com email address. Um, the other ones will not be forwarded to our desk. So uh, just make sure that is the exact email you're using when you're emailing support. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I am getting a couple of users reporting that the audio is perfectly fine. So if you're getting a little bit of, of chop on the stream, uh, it might be on your end. It might be worth it to um, skip back a little bit, five seconds back. Um, you'll get a little bit. Uh, I think your time PC will have a little more time to catch up. You, you can see there that we got a uh, trade win there, a long regression fill. And uh, ended up winning that trade pretty quickly right when we got into it. She got filled here long, or sorry, short, um, inside of regression mode there. Ended up getting filled pretty quickly on that one. Keeping it in regression mode here, um, although we have seen small convergence in, and, uh, in delta and price, uh, we are going to try and maintain trading within this range. Got filled short again. And we ended up winning that pretty quickly as well. We break. Also, guys, I did get some questions about, hey, 
why am I not getting filled into any trades? Make sure that your imbalances to enter is set to one, not three. So when trading NQ, you want it set to one because you already have tick stacking enabled. Um, basically, there are already going to be four levels where there would be imbalances if you have tick stacking enabled and you have your imbalances to enter set to one. Got filled pretty quickly there again. Haven't lost a trade today yet. Um, hopefully we can keep that momentum up. Also, guys, just check with our support. Um, we have answered all tickets from um, anything before this morning has been responded to. If you're saying you haven't gotten a response yet, it's likely because you're emailing the wrong email. And just because you get a response from the automated system does not mean it was actually to the support. That's just sent to any at Features Analytica email. It's going to give you a response, but you want to be making sure you're emailing the support email. Uh, yes, Luca, to answer your question, setting tick stacking to four and stack the balance to one is basically mandatory on NQ. Um, on ES, that's a very different story. But on NQ, you can also set stack the balances to two. Just don't set it to three. Three is a little bit excessive, um, especially with machine learning. Just to get back to your earlier question about um, an unanswered support email, we just found it uh, in our other inbox. It was not uh, in our support inbox, but we're getting getting back to you on that right now. I'll just let uh, our support agent know about that. Filled long here again. End up winning another trade there up to 24.44 on the day. Um, pretty solid so far. So guys, if you want to incorporate other indicators with machine learning, um, inside a training mode, if you simply add an indicator to your chart, it's going to be considered as an indicator that's going to be used for training. So regardless of what it is, if it's from a third party, if it's an official ninja trader indicator, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's on your chart and it's plotted, um, it is going to be available to be trained. Just got filled there at 3000 on the day.
Also guys, in the next update, we're gonna allow the machine learning model to optimize for win rate rather than just number of trades. So uh, it's gonna be pretty big. Um, and I think that will help a lot of people. It's not going to be necessarily as stable at producing a consistent number of trades per hour, but um, it's going to be uh, significantly more effective at helping you guys who are struggling with win rate specifically. That is great to hear, Bito Cars. Uh, I said you made three grand in eight minutes. Oh, I think you're talking about me. <laughs> but that is awesome if that was you as well. Pretty solid trading day here. Um, although it is a bummer we missed out on this big run up. Um, we took advantage of this range pretty well here. Got filled short there. And we got filled very quickly on that. So it's 3,700, or sorry, 3,800 on the day. Also, Denve, to clarify, um, pick stacking should still be set to four, but number of imbalances to enter should be set to one. But if Pick stacking is set to one and it's working for you, then um, I think that's that's pretty solid as well. Um, especially if you're using uh, three imbalances to enter, you can set tick stacking to one and uh, that will work effectively as well. So. And uh, no, guys, your strategy properties should not be identical to your indicator settings. Okay, here is a very obvious trend switch. I have, I definitely was a little bit behind the curve on this one, but um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it here. Um, switching it into trend just due to that consistent entropy there, or consistent delta and price. Just got filled long. Ended up getting winning that trade pretty quickly as well. Just got filled up to 4,600 on the day so far. Um, very, very stellar performance today. Uh, haven't haven't lost a trade yet. Okay, awesome, Ben. Uh, confirm me saying that when you switched it to one instead of two. Um, you won four trades in a row. Awesome. That is, that is great to hear that that is working for you. Make sure that you guys are in optimized mode if you are not able to get the heuristic learning button to show up um, and not just training mode.
And there we go. We just got filled long air, sorry, short. And we want another trade there. Um, that does put us above our uh, profit target of 5,000. And we're at 5,118 now. So um, I'd say that is a very solid trading day to end off on. Um, only about 15 minutes of trading there. Um, surprisingly easy day to trade, uh, especially with all of this kind of randomized movement here. Um, ended up taking home quite a bit of profit there. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, I'm sorry about the a little bit of a delay on that update that's coming out. It's because we're not doing a, a letter revision for this update. Uh, I believe we're in R7A or R7B. Um, we are going to be, the next one is going to be the next number, so it's going to be R8B. This is a very full-sized update uh, to this, and it is going to include optimizing for win rate along with another slew of features, going to, of course, fix the port issue, going to fix the cat boost issue that some of you guys are having, and uh, it'll be more consistent. And, of course, it will be including a prepackaged model. Um, but, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you guys again.